Okie dokie, quick version of this problem here. We know that for a linear version, or sorry, a linear function, we're looking for addition to be the same between each value in the table. For exponential, we're looking for multiplication to be the same between each value. And for power, that's kind of just like whatever's left afterwards. And then we can talk about what the function may be. So linear. Um, okay, so when I look at h, I see that you're adding one in between each value in the table. So h must be our linear. We'll go orange for that. h of x is linear. So far, so good. So then we need our exponential function. So uh, mix it up. I'll use this black pen. So exponential, we're looking for multiplication to be the same in the table. So I see from 9 to... 27, we're multiplying by 3, 27 to 81 times 3, 81 to 243 times 3. So that means that g of x is our exponential function. So that leaves f of x to be the power function. So we see 2 gives us 4, 3 gives us 9, 4, 16, 5, 25. Similar example as we may have seen before. That tells us that the power function f must be x squared since all the f values are the squares of the x values so between our options here that should leave us with so h is linear that's looking like option b so we bring out our eraser find out that b is the correct answer